Today on Man Cave Munchies, I'm gonna show you how to make Mexican corn cake. Here's what you're gonna need. We're gonna need some corn, obviously. We're also gonna need some baking powder, hot sauce, half a jar of green olives. I like to put some banana peppers in there. Gonna need a tablespoon of sugar, one egg, and then you're gonna need a cup of flour, a cup of milk, some chili powder, and some salt. That's all there is to it. Let's get started. Actually, to start this off, it's, it's very similar to making pancake batter, because you start off with one cup of flour. You start off with one tablespoon of baking powder. Into that, you add an egg. You add a cup of milk or almost a cup of milk, because I don't want to get it to be too thick, and then you, you start stirring. Because what you're looking to do is you're looking to form a batter. And then into the batter, what you're going to do is you're going to pour all the other ingredients. Perfect. Now here's where it gets different, because we're going to use chili powder for the seasoning. Here's another thing I'm sure you've never put into your pancake mix. Hot sauce. I'm using the chiracha, but I mean you can use whatever you want. You can use as little or as much as you want. And then we start adding in things like salt. One tablespoon of sugar. Do a little more mixing. It doesn't have to be too perfect because it's gonna get a lot lumpier in a second. Watch. Corn. Now I'm gonna put in my half a bottle of my green olives. And I'm going to chop up some banana peppers and put those in there. Going to add our banana peppers. And then it's a matter of feel. Because right now I feel that this thing is still a little bit too loose, so all I'm going to do is put another couple of tablespoons of flour in it until you get it to the consistency that you want. Again, you don't want spackle, but you know, you also don't want runny eggs. There you go. It's starting to have a nice consistency. So now we're going to take this over to the stove and I'll show you how to make a passel of corn cakes. Be right back. She uses the same spoon do is you put a nice heaping tablespoon if you need a little more. And you can usually, I usually do three. I mean, technically you could probably get four in here, but the problem is if you do four, you're going to be hard pressed to flip them. All right, so all we do is get the pan nice and hot. You don't need any nonstick if you're using a nonstick pan. If you're using a skillet, you need to give it a little shot. And then what I do is I set my timer over here for 90 seconds. And then we wait, and in 90 seconds, we're going to flip these puppies. All right, it's about 90 seconds. Let's flip the first one over and see what we got. There you go. Nice and brown on one side. And then you can do the same thing with these on the other side. They may look like lumpy pancakes, but trust me, they don't taste like them. Set your timer for 90 more seconds. And away you go. Our first batch is ready. We're going to plate them. And then all you need to do is repeat. If you want them to stand up a little taller, just make the batter a little thicker. If you want them a little hotter, add a little more hot sauce. That's the beauty of this. Guys, nothing's written in bronze. Have fun with them.
Ole. Well, here you go. Feel free to serve these on their own or with some salsa and sour cream. What else did we forget? Oh, yeah. Cerveza, por favor. Muchas gracias. See you next time on Man Cave Munchies.